What? Three nanites for a whole gold nugget? Dude, that's such a ripoff. I'm sorry. Wow. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. Damn, you need to tell James that one. Oh hey, my what god. what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that before. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's so nice to see the traps can cause trouble for the other. What the hell? Did he shoot my fireball? Sorry, that's good. Hey, it's Cal Katarn. <laughs> what? Hey, it's Cal Katarn. <laughs> that's amazing. Hey, it's Cal Katarn. Hey, it's Cal Katarn. Hey, it's Cal Katarn. There you go. That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. On second thought, I think a shower can wait. Sure did. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're gonna be careful, right? No, nope, she's not gonna be careful.
You could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter... And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> no, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. <laughs> this is fine, this is okay. This is not a problem. Good job, everyone. That ought to keep the Imperials off our back for a little while longer. The yellow leader. It seems I misjudged you. Can you forgive me? Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the. Oh my god, the timing! Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Today we are going to play some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom again. I know, everybody's really shocked. Okay, where did we leave off? Let me just get into the game. There we go. Okay, this is not where we left off. I was doing more... Oh, right, yeah, my vehicle's gone again. That's okay. Um, this is not where we left off. I was doing some vehicle stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring a couple of these wheels over here. And we're going to rebuild it. Now, I had something actually a little disturbing happen the uh, just yesterday. I had brought one of these trucks over from Akala. Or not Akala, sorry. From, uh, where was it? That's Akala. From this stable over here, from Outskirts Stable. I drove it all the way to Akala through a couple of these areas that I didn't even have maps for. And it took long enough. Candle Jack, what the heck? Candle Jack. Only 15 months, Batman. <laughs> Thank you so much for 15 months. How are you doing? It's so good to see you today. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all of the support, man. It really means the world. I hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, I was just saying how <clears throat> I drove one of the trucks I'm about to make from Outskirt Stable all the way up here to Akala just to add more bits to my auto build. So I've got some new favorites that I can use to rebuild fancy versions of it. Like this one with the two metal poles holding up a stone roof. Uh, the thing is, after a certain amount of time, four wheels from the truck did the green flashy thing and disappeared on me. Which I've only ever seen on air vehicles before. So I kind of get the feeling that maybe all of the building materials that you use can eventually time out and disappear. Which makes a good deal of sense from a world cleanup and game performance and longevity standpoint. 
you don't necessarily want permanent things going all over, creating variables and accumulating in out of the uh, out of the way hard to reach areas where they're just going to become cruft that slows down the game. But it means that all vehicles are inherently unreliable eventually. You've never had a wheel do it? I had four of them. I don't know for sure because it was like the ones that I kept, I had one on the back corner here and one on the middle on the side. So I would not have thought that those were the ones that came with me all the way from Outskirts Stable, but it was four all at precisely the same time. So I kind of think it has to have been the ones that came from Outskirts Stable. So there's that, that was fun. Uh, so we'll have to see what happens, but I did actually want to use that auto build. So where are we? We're not gonna build that one. We're gonna do Oh, right. I need the control module Okay We're gonna oh no no not that one that's too expensive. That's the one. And that, actually that's the first time I've attempted that. That is interesting because it answers a question Aaron Lore had posed yesterday. He wanted to know if it would deconstruct another object nearby. Two of these wheels that it just assembled into my truck had been attached to this little piece of wood over here. So that's a yes. That's really neat. So it deconstructed that little partially finished vehicle and reconstructed the parts into this one. So that, I like that quite a bit. That's really cool. All right, so I think we're gonna head back up into this area now. I want to get some more towers. We might also start generally trying to head over into Dorito Village area. Because I need to assume that since the game is kind of driving me in that general direction, that it's going to want me to be able to survive colder temperatures, so I will probably find clothing of a nature that I'm looking for out that way. At least that's that's my general thinking. I'm not gonna start going full gangbusters, we gotta do the main story or anything ridiculous like that because who does the main story, really? But it's standing in the way of me doing other stuff I wanna do, so we gotta take care of that problem. What the heck was that? Weird. South Akala Stable. Whoops. We also have to get back on the trail of eventually expanding my battery again. Battery life I've got now is much better than it was, but there's still so much room for improvement. Oh crap, right, these guys. Um, oh. Oh, what? 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 
What is that? Okay, that is not a wheeled vehicle accessible. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Usually I'm pretty impressed with the way this thing off-roads, but this is very tight quarters. Hang on. Come on. I don't remember this castle existing in Breath of the Wild. What the hell? Did I just overlook it completely? Which, you know, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me that much if I did. I see things. Oh, is that... No. Okay, so you could use that to help fashion a bridge. Interesting. Oh, and a flame device. Okay. We're gonna have to come back here. This is not on the agenda for right now. Also, what the... Uh? If I didn't know what dragons look like in this game, I would very much think that was a dragon. Is that a Hydra? What the hell? Hammer, how's it going? Okay, this is a scary place. We will come back later when I'm not quite so squishy. Nope, nope, don't drive into the giant moat chasm. Those guys again. Shoot. Okay, hang on. We gotta back up a little bit. Or what? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Uh we have to turn around for a moment. Speaking of being squishy. The vehicle's current configuration is a little exposed. I'm going to add a little touch of fortification to it. never noticed okay Addison first of all what the hell are you doing with that sign excuse me sir what are we working with here oh he's made it tricky I never noticed him I've been here so many times and just never realized that he was doing stuff all right Addison sir
Uh, no, that should be open. Okay, this is going to be easier this way, I think. Oh, it's not... Oh, that's... Okay, that's the problem. There we go. Try that and go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Energizing seafood rice balls. Gross, ah! but okay. As long as I don't have to eat it. Sleepover ticket. Whoa. Sounds good, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now I still needed this. Um That's going to be too long. Close enough. Now are these... Let's see. I think those are permanently joined. I can't disconnect those, which is kind of unfortunate. Actually, you know... Maybe it's not so bad. I'm gonna use it. We'll see how it works. Uh, yeah, okay, that should probably do. Now watch, I'm doing all this to fortify, sort of, the car. And one of them's gonna get the bright idea to fire a burning arrow at me or something. Hmm. 
This should at least keep the worst of the missile attacks away and keep them from easily jumping up onto the platform with me. sleep that'll help too of course I'm gonna run a few of them over but that's okay very so oh no no oh god oh no oh no oh no oh no 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 this is a very bad time for off-roading <laughs> Oops. Could have been a lot worse. Granted, but still. There's that Hydra thing. Man, okay, they're confused. I don't blame them. Oh, 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 hang on. What is that down there? That looks very much like... Oh, we've got a stable and a shrine. Let's see how good this is at off row. Oh, shoot, that's a river. Hmm. Okay, how do we get over there? Preferably with the car. I was going to try driving over directly. I forgot the. Uh, no, Link, stop climbing inside. Okay, we're going to have to make our way there the longer way, I guess. Nope, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, it looks like the land diverges over there, maybe. Possibly there's a bridge. We'll find out. That looks like a road. Or at least a road-like path. It's close enough and good enough for my purposes. It seems like it'll take us over where we want to go. Out of the way, Bambi. I warned you. This actually seems like it might be... Oh, no, okay, no, there's the... There's the... There's the stable. Hey, Beetle. I got nothing for you at the moment, but good to see you. We got a Korok there. How sad is the kingdom today? It's very sad. I found a Hydra. I didn't have to fight it, thankfully. Not yet. Haha! <laughs> From now on, the s we of the survey team must pursue excellence on two fronts at once, mind and body. Hmm? Princess Zelda in all her brilliance has given us our marching orders. We must live up to our expectations. Good morning, traveler. You have an interest in the brilliant guidance of Princess Zelda, too? The order she gave to the survey team was this, word for word. Ah. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of the indoor study for the exploration of them in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. I... 
I'm not entirely certain I believe that was her precise phrasing. And then, Traveler, I will tell you, when Princess Zelda gave our team those marching orders, we marched. So that's why we're here, surveying monsters in our underpants. Oh. Why not join our efforts here? Our survey work has never felt more adventurous than in our underpants. <sighs> okay. No, I saw it from a distance, Ansara. I'm sure I will have to face it eventually. Zelda having a bit of fun with her surveyors. I, yeah, maybe. That might be it. Sure, yeah, we're kind of not wearing the usual gear here, but we're not... But we're just following orders. It's not weird. It's not weird at all. Still, that girl who works in the stable took one look at all of us and left. She's far over there and won't come back. <laughs> Doesn't she know we're the real deal? We're the Zone I Serve Day team. This is all super official. It's not weird. Uh? What are you thinking? You guys are all making our research team look like fools. I think you do look weird. So there, chew on that. You're all wrong. We're following Princess Zelda's orders. Uh. How did this happen? I was the last member of the survey team to reach this survey location. But then everyone was dressed like this by order of Princess Zelda. Why would she give such a strange command? Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? Mm. Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Dorito. Dorito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. Uh. That's awful. It sounds like anyone trying to get to Dorito Village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing weather. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Mm. Oh, now this is interesting. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. The Lucky Clover Gazette has opened its offices at Dorito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to apply. Everyone has the odd moment of whimsy? Yeah, I suppose that's true. Zelda's been ethereal for, what was it, a thousand years? Presumably however long ago it was that she got zapped back in time. I kind of assume that she's then become the mythical Zelda figure that get, keeps getting reincarnated into every future generation since then. So she's become a closed loop, in a sense. If I'm ever near Dorito Village, I might just drop by and see what this is all about. Okay. Maybe she just wants to see naked guys. Maybe. Could be. All right, what do you get to say? Oh. Who are you, a traveler? You may be wondering about our clothes or lack thereof. We're just doing what we were told. Huh? Prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. Those were the orders handed down to the Zonai survey team. As for why, that I couldn't tell you. Oh. It terrified me just leaving the stable without clothes or equipment. I can't imagine trying to fight monsters this way like Sango and Drant. Those two went down to the monster den just up the road. I told them to come back at the first sign of danger, but still no sign of them. Okay, so we've got some fish. Oh, we have a nice crystal there. And we've got a chest. And we do have a few supplies that we can build with. Uh, well, that actually hasn't been confirmed yet. But it seems like the most likely explanation because she, when we had our first encounter with Ganondorf at the very beginning of the game, she fell down into a giant chasm after he attacked and then she sort of faded away into this burst of light 
and we've been getting visions of her ever since, usually involving her meeting and interacting with Queen Sonia and King Raru, who were the first king and queen who founded the Kingdom of Hyrule way back in antiquity. So time travel seems like the most likely explanation. Oh, there's two chests. I didn't even notice that other one. One flew. Well, it helped me get them closer at least so I can snag them both. Good. Yep. Okay. Uh, well, that's not a half bad shield, I suppose. And that one's almost gone. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't actually have any kind of an axe. Um, let's see if we can find an axe stone. This medicinal plant grows in hot regions such as the Gerudo Desert. It's a little out of its uh, territory then. It's warm to the touch and increases your cold resistance when cooked into a dish. Oh, that's very good news. I actually really needed that. Well, good work finding him. Okay. Okay, here now, here now. Hmm, you're not walking around in nothing but undershorts. Ah, uh, you must be a traveler, so you're not going to believe this. Mm -hmm. There's a group of guys in their skivvies hanging out at Foothill Stable, which is where I work. Just guys in their undershorts everywhere you look. It's the worst. That's why I'm here looking after the doggies. I'm doing some self-care, you know. <laughs> That's right, these little guys. Aren't they the cutest? But they're not just cute. Oh, no, no, no. They also have this amazing ability. Their incredible sense of smell can lead you to treasure. But they won't do that for just anybody. You have to show them lots of love first. You know, befriend them and feed them. But they'll repay that love by showing you the most amazing things. Okay, we have to get photos of the doggos. We already got the Hillian Retriever. Oh, that is another Hillian Retriever. I need an axe head rock. Oh, maybe there's one over here. Yes, perfect. Okay. Oh, 
It doesn't look quite like the axe I was expecting, but it'll probably do. <sighs> What's a guy to do? I got into the Zonai survey team recently, and now this. Look at me. Sitting here, like a dope, in my underpants. Thought I'd be getting in on something good here, but my first order was to go into the field dressed like this. They say the order came down from none other than Princess Zelda, but, I mean, what's up with that, right? Oh, okay, yeah, it seems to work just fine. They won't mind, I'm sure. Oh, so we meet again, huh? And again, and again. I wonder how many times we've met in our past lives. Well then, can I tempt you to buy? Or are you selling today? Okay, so he's got arrows, which thankfully we don't really need to buy in this game. So far, at least. And he's got a few other things. Do I have anything I would like to sell to him? I'll get rid of a few of my gems. Wow. <laughs> All right, thanks, Beetle. <laughs> Work in progress, do not touch. I noticed there was a cave over there. We're going to have to check that. Oh, that's right by the shrine. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go park closer to that. If I go to the shrine, we will, of course, lose the car. But I guess we're going to have to do it. It's not really a cave. It's weird that all these sun shrooms and warm cephalina and all that are suddenly growing in this area. Oh, there is a cave. That just wasn't it. Let's get this marked. Oh, no. This also is just a passageway. really thought we'd found it too. Uh. Who knows how long it would take to open all of those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. Mm. And every single chest we open, it's the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. Mm. Hmm? Shh. Prison. Hush up. Uh. Hey, buddy. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Misko's treasure, too. Huh? Prison, don't just say that. Shh! Ah. Ugh, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Uh. Ugh, whatever. No sense in trying to hide it now. Misko's the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. But Misko's legend expands beyond mere banditry. You see, Misko is equally famous for fashion. The stories say they spent a lifetime collecting clothes, clothes that are now hidden across Hyrule. Oh. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. That's why we're here. Uh? And we got here first, so if you're thinking of swooping in and snatching those duds, think again. 
<laughs> oh, there's no way he'll be able to find Misko's treasure in that sea of chests. There's nothing to worry about, Doc. Uh... Mm, you've got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen up, you. You've got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any, any better. <laughs> not unless you've got a nose like a dog's and can sniff out the treasure. Oh. Hint, hint. That's it, Dak. Let's give the dog some food or something to get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Huh? I was being sarcastic, person. Uh. Sorry, Dak. Miss goes cha cave of chests. Okay, we will do that. Obviously, I'm pretty okay with befriending doggos. But we really want to do the shrine. That's our priority. Kisanona Shrine. Bye bye, car. It was nice knowing you. Kisanona Shrine, Wind Power. Interesting. Okay, so that is capable of moving. These might be capable of rotation as well, I'm not sure. There's a chest up there, which I'm guessing... No, I can't just bring that down. And they've given us a couple of fans. Okay, that was pretty cool and easy, but we still have to make it to the treasure. send up there either well it is wind power Get up there. 
I'm probably not going to, so what we're going to have to do instead is maybe just not put that on the center pillar, and we'll just stick it over here instead, perhaps. My, ooh, that's a good bow. We can ditch that crappy bow. Yes, nice. Okay, perfect. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Hey Voidum, how's it going? Good to see you. Sorry, I've been a little absorbed in this. Crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, let's see. So how's everyone's Tuesday going so far? I hope you're all having a good one. And conveniently enough, we've got a dog right here. Let's take a look at our materials. Shove me into the fire, please. Oh, you're not interested in that, are you? Where are we going, boy? In here? Come on. Hope you like fish as well. Just careful of the bones. No? I only have the one more piece of meat, so I hope that's enough. Doggo, what are you doing?
Come on, boy. Cephla Lake Cave. It's a shame they don't have anything you can hunt in this area. I'm gonna have to try again with the fish. You like that, boy? He doesn't seem terribly interested, does he? I'm surprised they don't actually have a little food stockpile for you. Oh, are you following me now? Come on, this way. That, no. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You sure I can't interest you in a stinky, terrible piece of fish? Is there anything in here? No. Looks like food maybe accelerates the process, but spending enough time might do it too. Roasted bass. How about that? Oh, that's transformed into a meal. Okay, so I can't throw that. I can only throw the raw variety. Oh, there's a good boy. This is criminal. You should be able to pet them. Three minute warning on ads, by the way, folks. Come on, doggo. Come on. This way. No. Damn it, dog. Now I'm kind of starting to regret the amount of cooking I did. I did a lot of cooking. I have a lot of food for just restoring health and a few for special abilities. Like stealth and stamina, regen, and I think I've got one, yeah, low level speed boost for swimming. Some stuff like that. I did a little experimentation and added to my cookbook. Mm. Come on, doggo. Oh, good boy, you caught your tail. You want to come along now? No? Fine. Come on. Come on. This away. Into the cave. You know you want to. It's a fun cave. It's got interesting things to discover. Alright, fine. We're just going to take a look around the cave and see what's what, and then we'll come back. I might have to go get more food.
Always good to get more bright bloom seed. What is this? That looks like it should be a door. Yep. I wonder what happens if you just skip the dog part and open all of them. Oh, um... We do have ads beginning shortly. I'd better take my first break now, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food, drink, or a snack or anything, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. You don't get a much closer view than this. That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this gang up on Gordonite? I am so confused. Oh, no, no! Ah, crap. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Okay. Uh, rugged BD assembly scrapyard solar. Yes. Oh, it gave me the complete upgrade package? You're kidding me. Love it. That's so cool. That's unfortunate. Whoa! I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, shoot. Oh, good. Okay. I haven't had Prime Rambit in a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well... <laughs>
Thank you. Slowly waking up, I can relate. I crashed so hard last night. I took a couple of sleeping pills and I was just out like a like the dead. Okay. Let's see. I'm in this treasure cave where it's kind of hinting that you might want to use a dog to smell which chest you have to open. I'm debating trying to open all of the chests first, but I'm a little worried that if I do, I just there won't be anything to find. That's a lot of chests. It's worth it to find the right one. Now, you mean, do I have to actually use the dog technique, or can I genuinely... Can I just open all of them? I think you can open them all. Okay. Well... The only reason that I don't want to do the dog thing necessarily is that I have run out of meat and it's taking forever to befriend him without it. Otherwise, I'd be more than happy to make a doggo friend. Ember trousers. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of a heat absorbing cloth that produces flame in high temperature environments. Hot weather attack. Okay. Interesting. Huh? Whoa. Hey, what'd you do? Oh. No way. There are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit, but we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Finders keepers. We're not going to try to take it from you. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm going to go look for myself. Out of the way. That's the one you needed. Nice. Hmm. Treasure, you in there? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, darn. It's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. You got it, Dak. To you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule, notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another, the Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the fierce deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's red-crowned citadel. One in the skull's left eye. One in an old stump in Hyrule Field. Good luck, the great bandit Misko. That's so cool. I love this. And that also explains why this looks suspiciously similar to a doorway. It is a doorway, if you've got the keys. Well, that wasn't so bad. I got very lucky there. Okay, let's see. 
I've got two pieces of the set right now. I might go hunt down the third piece after the water temple tonight. You want to see what's behind that door? Yeah, I'm very curious. <sighs> My car is gone again. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I guess I... We'll just teleport. What the heck? So, where is it we wanted to go? Let's check the adventure log. Misko's treasure. Oh, actually. Let's... Beats wants to cheer up Mast Mastro, his beloved band leader, by making him a honey crepe. Unfortunately, he's still missing the key ingredient. Okay, so... Let's do that one. So we'll just go to... I guess Kakariko Village is the closest shrine. Yeah, I started to get that. I, I kind of think maybe they misheard Zelda when she said underpants. She probably meant under something else. I haven't gotten the full details of the quest yet, but we will be back. I'm not really working heavily in Akali yet, except as regards to quick build. So, we'll get to it. Do I have enough for another thing? Let's see. Probably not. I think I already used up my orbs. Yeah, okay. I need more. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Wait, that's not the way out. How do we go out? That doesn't look... How do I get out of here? Okay, you know what? Never mind. We're going to go to the stable shrine. June Choice Games. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. I was distracted before a stream because I finally got onto Blue Sky last night and I was poking around at that for a little bit. It looks really good, by the way. It feels very much like early Twitter. Except it's federated like Mastodon. And so far, I'm really liking the lack of muskiness about it. Ghostwire Tokyo, interesting. I had actually considered that as my Halloween game for last year. I ended up going back to... Uh, what's the other one? The Sam Witwer game. What the hell is it called? Days Gone. Instead, but I'm still kind of interested in Ghostwire. Remnant from the Ashes, Curse of the Dead Gods. Honey, I Joined a Cult. Eternal Threads, Grime, Turbo Golf Racing. And Meeple Station. That sounds promising, honestly. It sounds like there's some stuff that might be pretty fun in there. Actually, you know, that reminds me. I 
also remembered that while I was playing Days Gone around Halloween, I was enjoying myself so much with it that I had decided, okay, we have to keep this in the rotation, and then I promptly dropped it from the rotation. So it's probably going to be our Halloween game again this year, but still, nice to have Ghostwire Tokyo. Meeple Station is an isometric pixel art space station building and management sim. I really would not have gotten Space Station from Meeple. It takes inspiration from games in the vein of Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld. Okay, yep, that, um, that's a promising description. Let's go, buzza buzza dum, buzza bee bee dum, and honey, hmm? Wait a second. What's that I smell? Something sweet? Hey, maybe, in your pouch there. Mm. All right. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess it got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me out. Take it. All yours. I'm going to beat it and head back to my band leader. I play with a group called the Stable Trotters. We bop around from stable to stable sharing our tunes. I'll bet everyone's back at our old meeting spot, Woodland Stable. It's way north over in Eldon, so I better get a move on. Hey. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. Now, do we still have what's-her-name hanging around here somewhere? Uh, oh, there she is. I wonder if her text is updated now that the drum guy's gone. You're quite the assertive bow coming and talking to me all of a sudden. Did you know that when a Gerudo comes of age, he goes on a journey to search for the bow of her destiny? I'm on the middle of such a vo hunt, and I believe you and I meeting here may be fated. <laughs> Don't you think so? Definitely. <laughs> oh dear. Apologies, but I was only joking. I don't think the vo of my destiny will make himself so easy to find. Eh? But thank you for the entertainment. That put a smile on my face. Zavork. Wow. Sorry, Fox. I'm too low on meat to pass it up. Constructs. What are they doing over here? That's a lot of them. I don't think I'm going to attack that group. That has just not gone well, historically speaking. Oh, 
I love the chunks of the Sky Islands that just crash down randomly all over the place. So, you mentioned earlier, Greeny, that you're going on to... What was it you said? The Water Temple? You must be making pretty good progress on actually finishing the game, then. That's not too bad. I can probably just carry him there. You ended last night at the start of it. Very nice. Well, I'm not necessarily implying that you've only got like two or three streams left or something like that, but you know, you would probably, if you've done a few of the temples by now, you probably could finish if you wanted to fairly soon, relatively soon. I was, oh crap. I was also thinking, as far as finishing goes, as much as I'm enjoying this, I don't necessarily want to play it for three months straight. So I do have, um, well, let me just finish this delivery thing here. I do have that Chinatown Detective Agency game that I picked up because a couple of streamers both told me independently of one another that I needed to check it out. I was thinking I could play that in there somewhere too over the next few months because that seems like it would be really fun. There's my friend. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I've done all of the story things except the final boss and there's still a lot of game left because it's 80% exploration and 20% story progression. Yeah, that's similar to Breath of the Wild. I kind of want to get the temples done then I can explore all the things without regional disturbances. Oh, that's fair. Need to get back to finishing other games before August, yes. Okay, I'm not going to walk back on foot here. Although, I wouldn't mind knowing where the tower for this... Oh, right, that's the one that I couldn't get to. Okay, um... I think we're gonna go back to New Serene Stable and we're gonna explore on, maybe on foot from here. If people think my constant constant Zelda ing is a thing, wait until Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I actually am pretty seriously thinking about maybe some of those older Zelda games that you can play on the Switch. I hadn't realized there were so many of them. That could be fun. Hey, Beetle, what have you got over here? Hey there, we meet again. Are you still moving forward on this little journey we call life? Well then, can I tempt you to buy? Firefruit. Honestly, a little tempting there. Thank you. 
<laughs> See you later, Beetle. I love that so many of the characters are constants from Breath of the Wild to this one. Okay, so we want to go southwards then, right into that rock chasm. Not really a chasm, you know what I mean. Let's just, for the sake of argument. Okay, I actually do have a bit of zonite. I probably could summon one of my cars. I don't recognize this area from the first game. I wonder if I just never happened to come by this way. I feel bad hunting the foxes, but I need the meat pretty badly. can. It's actually a little too expensive. Okay. Oh, I remember this area. Say, are you a fellow traveler? I, Water, am wandering around all throughout Hyrule collecting bugs. Are you perhaps also a fan of insects? Mm -hmm. Honestly, how could you not be? From their beautiful wings paired to their tough exoskeletons, what perfect creatures. Oh, as a gift for a fellow traveler, let me share my knowledge of all things Insecta. That's a sciencey name for bugs. <laughs> I'm sure such wisdom will help find all sorts of bugs in your journey. Okay, let's start with the basics. I'm sure you know that Hyrule has warm regions and cold regions, right? Well, just like most folks, our different buggy friends prefer different climates depending on their needs. So warm regions like Elden are often home to summer-winged butterflies and warm darners. 
Meanwhile, cold donors and winter wing butterflies prefer cold regions like Hebra. <laughs> so you see, if you know what kind of bugs live where you're heading, it makes the journey that much more fun. <laughs> and that's it for Dr. Water's insect crash course. I hope we meet again somewhere soon. Let's go find the road again. Looks like we've got a little Bokoblin encampment up here. Whoops. <laughs> okay. That was easier than expected. <laughs> Razor Shroom. It's my first encounter with those in this one. pins left. I need to clear a few of those. Where are all my pins? What the heck? Looks like I've still got a couple plays, but that's fine. Is that another stable up ahead? We might go visit there. Addison! I haven't seen him in a little bit. Hey! Hey, busy day. You know, there used to be an awful, and I mean awful, thunderstorm raging throughout this whole area. It never let up until recently it did, which is why I was able to come here. Ah. Now that it's safer, maybe I should climb a tall tree and scope things out. All right, Edison, what have you got here? Okay. This looks simple enough. Nope. any large pieces here. That's interesting. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. 
What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Will he be okay? He won't fall? He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. I know, Greeny. I would love to do that. I would almost be tempted to post all the Addison solutions as well that I come up with. Except, honestly, the shrines are enough of a nightmare. I wouldn't want to add Addison to it too the shrines aren't that bad but it, it still is a fair amount of work with your help President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place it fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own take this with my thanks <laughs> also you must be hungry after all that hard work right let me give you a little something I made myself just cannot believe you are trying to upload every shrine. It is a lot, but it's not that bad. It's all very simple edits. It's not like doing the clips where I do all the captions and all that. And most of them are relatively short. Like, you know, majority are under 10 minutes long. There have been a couple that have been in the half hour range, but... It doesn't usually involve any extra editing. The worst is when I have to take a break in the middle of a shrine, and that's just a matter of making one cut and then another cut at the end of the break, and then that's really it. Not a big deal. <laughs> just takes a little while is all. Callan Ray, how are you doing? It's fantastic to see you. How are things going? I hope you're doing well today. You are back in Kanukia. Welcome back. I hope your trip went well. I'm doing good. I am doing good. I'm a little bit... Oh... Oh my, how curious. Due to recent attacks on folks who are distracted by dropped objects, be careful, pay attention to your surroundings, and don't go carelessly poking around suspicious objects. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we go and poke at that. I am doing the importing of vehicle and insurance and all that stuff. Oh, fun. Yeah, I'm a little bit sore and, uh, well, not really so much tired today, but I did a bonus long stream on Sunday. I, I guess you probably had to miss that because of your trip and all, but I started my stream around the usual time, just shortly after noon, my time, and I went... 15 hours. But it was a lot of fun. We made a lot of progress in Zelda, so it was worth it. There's a lot of fruit around here. Welcome back, Callan Ray. Just in time for the east part of the country to be on fire. Oh, boy. I'll be back, buddy. Don't you worry. <coughs> Ugh, to bath the bridge stable. So I'm still kind of recovering from the long stream, but it's been really, really fun. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? Great, great fairy flees into flower bud. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby woodland stable is in a panic. Mm. Mm. Uh. 
Okay, so the paper doesn't really seem to have that many variations yet. It's mm. all great fairies and <laughs> advertising for a new reporter. Looks like we can get basic insurance for 95 25 a month if we use a phone app. Not too bad for the first few months until you get some more income. Nice. Do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in a conversation. I'm from Dorito Village to the northwest. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Don't mention it, really. The Dorito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. You let me know if there's anything else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent here and then pack it up for you to carry home. Oh. Words cannot express my gratitude. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, fate brought us together again. Well then, can I tempt you to buy, or are you selling today? And, oh, this one here, he's got a bunch of butterflies. Uh, the traditional well, of course. Oh, this one looks like a proper cave. Oh, crap. It's a proper cave that's not so much filled with water, actually. Huh. It's not going to work, is it? <laughs> not what I had in mind. That looks reasonable. Huh. 
Oh, there was another board over here. I didn't even see that one. That's good. Then I can make a persistent path out of here in case I need to beat a hasty retreat. to do that, Link. Come on. Okay, not bad. There's nothing else. That's it. All right. Yo, um, no, I mean, hello there, yeah. Welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable. Aww. You know, you're giving off kind of a swordsman vibe. Oh, because you are one, I see. What? Whoa, a real live swordsman. <laughs> sorry, I said that too loud. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I got a little too excited there. Um, my name is Kenyo. I want to be a swordsman someday, so I'm doing all this work to bulk up. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be so buff someday that I won't even need a towing harness to carry lumber and stuff. Wait, towing harness? You didn't know about towing harnesses? You're gonna love them. I'll tell you all you need to know. So one of the exclusive perks for stable members is a towing harness for their horses. I guess you're a stable member already, so you probably heard all this before. But if you keep using stables and building up your pony po points, you'll have that harness before you know it. Ah. Towing harnesses are great. Once you've got one, you can have your horse tow a wagon or even building materials. If there's something you wanna move, you should try to earn one quick. If you ever need to build something, you can take anything you want from a building material storage area. You'll find them along the road, but just about every stable has one too. I don't need no stinking tow and harness. I can just build a truck. Or a wagon, or a car, or whatever is appropriate for my need at the moment. Although, I'm not sure how effective it would be to try to drive across this bridge. This is a little scary looking. Frontier. Wait a minute. There has to be a shrine there somewhere. How did we not spot that? Oh, we did spot that. It's up on the cliff top. Uh, 
I would like to do that, if possible. way to get up there. Oh, actually, I think I see a convenient location for ascending. Maybe several. Off to the side there looks likely, but dead ahead might work too. You know what? It looks like that one will work, but I think this one's probably better. There we go. That's much better. Makaruka's Shrine. Oh, combat training archery. Okay, I'm going to try not to be so quick to judge the combat training ones. They do typically tend to be a lot more fun in this one than they are in Breath of the Wild. So let's see how this one goes. Let's make sure I've got a decent bow. Oh, that's actually probably too decent. Oh, whoops. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. Haven't we done one similar to this already? Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Press and hold release, right, okay. Ow. Well done. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true and strike their heads. Stop interrupting. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Not until I loot. Okay, not the most interesting of all the possible ones we could have gotten. Oh, actually, I wouldn't mind having a Zonite sword. Uh, no. What can I ditch? Can 
Come on. Strong construct bow. Okay, well, we can ditch a regular construct bow and take the strong version instead. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. If you use an icy attack against a fiery enemy, you may defeat it in one hit. Okay, now we can go back across the bridge. And three minute warning guys, I'm gonna be taking another break and making some additional coffee in about three minutes, give or take. I just can't get over how beautiful this game is. It's so nice, and it's on the Switch of all consoles that they've managed to pull off this. I mean, I'm not necessarily talking just about the graphics there. I know on PlayStation or Xbox they could make it look even more amazing, but the physics of what they're able to do, I just, I can't even imagine how this game is possible. Addison! Hello, sir! Ah! I'm putting President Hudson here, too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I'll leave you to it for a moment. I should redouble my support. Alright, you do that. Nope. Gonna stick this right here. This we're gonna stick right here. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Back away from the edge. There we are. That's better. letting go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing.
Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. See you again soon, Edison. All right. Okay, where were we off to now? I guess it would be this way. Oh, that was well timed. Okay, guys, I'm going to start the break right now. If you need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a really good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five or so. Majesty, with your power, we cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. We are the kings. And you, all of you, are pawns. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core and the other won't make it easy for me. Do your jobs and we won't have they will move, and the other will be the least of your enemies. As you command, Emperor. Okay, we have damage. Whoa! Uh... Excuse me? I've never had that, that happen before. Holy crap. I'm starting to think that maybe I should not have brought the Cyclops down here. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Why not both? With explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? Both? Both. Both. Both is good. That could work. Didn't you used to be a used chip salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Visual on the uh, if I had to hazard a guess, based on its profile, I'd say the aliens developed this unit with the intention of tracking and isolating single targets. It appears to have a sophisticated evasion system as well. Perhaps we should try to avoid those tentacles. was that then why don't you take off the ask me about moon button my grog riddled body is fused with it I'm more button than man at this point <laughs> The stories say he sought to claim. Is someone there? <laughs> what the hell? Whoop.
Well, that happened. I wish I could remember how to... Oh, that'll... That'll work. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to Spartan kick. Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. Okay, now, Uthgird, we all know your history with these pressure plates. You're going to be careful, right? No, she's not going to be careful. <sighs> you could at least be uncareful without actually just standing directly on it. Ow. How did you not see me? You leave her alone. This is actually quite Wow. Easy. Whoa. <laughs> um oops. That was maybe not my best move. And that blew the surprise. Now the raiders know I'm here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, and I'm saved up here too. Okay, I am back. Darkwing Dave, it's been a while. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. We have here. Hmm. Nothing of interest. I guess it's not all of the crashed wagons that have something. Okay. Fair enough. need to check that out. Oh, I recognize that. There's a Korok down there. Worry about that later, though. All right. Oh, Korak here too. That's fun. So, oh, sorry, guy. <laughs> I swear I do not do that on purpose. Oh, what is that? What is that? How did you even get your wagon in here, sir? What the heck? Oh, 
I'm in a real bind. Oh, hey, did you come down here to rescue me? It's a rescue. Nope, I fell in. Uh... Why, thank you. I was heading to Dorito Village, which is suffering through a fierce blizzard, to cheer them up with music and supplies. I got my wagon going at a pretty good clip on this road, but then I suddenly drove into this hole. It's never been here before. Uh... The horse I was riding ran off somewhere, and my cargo is spoiled. The only thing I have left is the wagon. Ooh. I haven't figured out how to get both me and my wagon out of this hole, and I won't leave it behind. Which leaves me stuck here, plain and simple. Aww. I'm relieved that someone came to rescue me, but I hope you have a plan to free me from this hole. I suspect it's going to involve balloons. The Hornist's Dramatic Escape. Okay, so we have a decent sized wagon. Nope. Also, no. I don't think one is going to do this, is it? Must be centered. Oh! <laughs> uh, well, okay, that's not centered at all. I think we'll work on the other side. It's a little bit lopsided, so it won't unbalance quite so much over this way. Will you not go? Ugh, come on. I think it's literally got to sit on top. I don't think it's going to fit over. Oh, no, it's definitely not going to fit over. I didn't realize it was semi-filled in down there. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully it'll still work. Oh, I really don't like that. Get out of here or not, sir? Oh. I can't climb up the wall of this hole, and even if I could, I wouldn't want to leave without my wagon. 
Ah, uh, if only someone could pull my wagon out of the hole with me in it. Is that too much to hope for? Get in the wagon. What? You can actually make this happen. Yeah. All right, then. Let's hope you know what you're doing. Yes, mm. let's hope. Oi! I'm in the wagon, ready to go. I'm out of the hole. First try. <laughs> Whew, I'm finally out. I got so nervous I fogged up my glasses and missed what you did. Uh... But you did it. You actually did it. Thank you so much. If you hadn't come along, I don't know how much longer I would have been stuck in that hole. Come to think of it, if I hadn't made such a rash decision during the earliest days of the upheaval and run off on my troop... Maybe things wouldn't have ended up like this. I mean, the supplies I collected to help feed Dorito Village have all spoiled by now anyway. Oh. I should get back to the stable trotters and rejoin my bandmates. That will do more good. Oh, have you not heard of us? Actually, I have. Us stable trotters are a music group that goes around the stables to perform. If I had to guess, it's out of your way, but they might be near Woodland Stable over in Eldon. After I return this wagon I borrowed, I'm going to rejoin the troop. There are so many people who would benefit from hearing us play. Oh. oh, one more thing. Take this, please. It's a cooking ingredient I picked up in my travels. This is the least I can do for you getting me out of there. Uh, <laughs> he literally gave me the key to getting the drummer. Except that I've already done that, so now I've just got extra honey. Wow. Thank yeah. you, sir. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. I look forward to playing my horn for you. That was a fun one. I really like that. Yep. Even if my solution was a little bit... A little bit rough, let's call it. Yes, we'll call it rough. What is this? That looks like a thing that needs photographing. Cool, Safina. This medicinal plant grows in high elevation, such as mountains in the Hebra or Gerudo regions. When cooked into a dish, it will temporarily increase your heat resistance. Bad doggo. Extra bad doggo. You made me miss. Spear. Mm. 
Oh shoot, that's all the... Wow, okay, so that's the staple we were at not too long ago. Where the heck are we? Friendly fellow travelers, are you? Oh, we've got a tower over there. Oh, you guys are going to be persistent. What? Addison, what are you doing up here? Wait, does the road actually lead right through here? Oh, that's weird. Okay. I guess that's less bizarre. Uh, oh, this is actually a tricky looking one. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, it should be pretty doable though. If I actually use Ultra Hand. Breaking, okay. Well, that's no good. No, that doesn't want to hold. Just need that to act as a weight. This will also act as a weight. There. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. 
Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Ah, uh, cold resistance. Thank you very much. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. Bomb flower. Very nice. Whoa. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Okay, let's disassemble this monstrosity. And we should be good. That's back the way we came, so we're going this away. Oh my god, this bridge. Well, I guess we're not taking a car this way. Not without building one purpose made for getting across this thing. What? What's with the combat music? Wildberry. Octorox. Okay. Oh. Time to bust out that food, I guess. Oh, that was a waste. That was really good 15-minute double cold survival awesomeness I could have used for the tower. But hopefully by the time I actually need that, I'll be able to use clothing. And it looks like we got a shrine here, so we're going to go do that. Now, what is that smoke down below? That looks like it would be another stable, perhaps? That is indeed another stable. So this is probably the stable shrine. Oh, that's fun. Aramuwak shrine. I hate to waste my cold resistance by ducking into a shrine, but here we go. Hopefully it won't take a very long time. A launching device. Okay, so we've got a ramp, and we've got a tower, and this looks suspiciously like the wing launcher. And we have rockets. So, I was expecting to have to launch a wing with a rocket, but it's not giving me anything but the rocket itself. I'm going to therefore assume we have to launch the actual rocket itself. So let's line this up in the slot. This is the minecart shrine. Excellent. Nice. First try. I'm taking them both with me for reasons.
Oh, right. I remember you doing this one, Greeny. That's fun. That's really fun. So we're going to actually put this on the low center of gravity. There we go, so that's one done. And then this is where it gave us a whole bunch of other rockets. I don't remember exactly how you managed to get that, although I can think of several ways that we could get there. I'm actually thinking the easiest way might be to just stack up a whole bunch of minecarts until you can climb them and ascend. <laughs> Believe it or not. Come on, Link. Gonna need more carts.
Wow, without a rider in there, that actually pretty much gets the altitude. That got pretty good. This one I've got to ride up there. Oop. I did something a little bit off there. I did not have them even. that one actually that looks like I can jump up onto the torch or oh crap I don't know if this is working as well as I was hoping it was going to. No, I don't think I'm getting quite high enough. Ugh, okay, let's see here. One more trick. If I can stack them end to end, maybe, just maybe, I can make this happen. I think it's going to end up being too tall, though. So what we're going to have to do is build it in stages. Very much like a rocket. Thank you. 
Now the question is, can I actually climb this thing? Oh my god, this might work. Nope. Ha! I honestly, I kind of like your solution more, Greeny, with the extra rockets. But I wanted to see if there was another way to make it work. Ruby, there we go. With a rocket shield? Oh, that's so cool, Greeny. I think I must have missed that part. Um. The minecart was just for funsies, gotcha. Oh, this does not look like a stable launch platform, and damn it, all my cold resistance is gone. Very nice, Greeny. I did a whole pile of Zelda clips last night after I got done with the, um, with the shrine stuff. I mean, I'm not done all of them. I'm not even finished the second stream that I did of Zelda, but I went through and I got a bunch of them done at least and uploaded onto the media or onto my, my main YouTube channel that I usually do shorts on. And then I thought, okay, enough is enough. I need some clips. Oh, you know what? Oh, crap, I forgot to actually tweet that I went live today. We're coming up on a break in about 15 minutes. I'll have to tweet then. Part of the point of doing a whole bunch of clips last night was specifically so that I would actually have a new clip that I could use for my going live tweet today. So then what do I do? I forget to tweet that I went live. Because I'm professional. Okay. This is not going to be the most stable of all flights. But we'll see if we can make it work. Yeah. 
Ah. <laughs> nice. Well, I guess that's a yes. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. One more and I get another heart. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Right, okay, so we need cold resist, preferably not the super fancy cold resistance that does two of them. I guess that'll have to do. There we go. And we wanted to go to the stable. The stable was around here somewhere. Where is the stable? Stable? Hello, stable. There you are. Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh, we finally made it. Guess it's time to collect some wood. No kindling shortcuts. My hilly and pine cone mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down the trees, hmm? Uh. Oh, welcome. This is Dorito Stable. No, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. Harder than stables do, clearly. <laughs> um, I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask somebody inside. Oh. This place was once a stable, and I was once its owner. But when that terrible cold wave roved, rode, rolled in, it froze up our business along with the rest of Hebra. Ah. Which is why the stable is closed and the Lucky Clover Gazette has bought out the old space. I don't have anywhere else to go, so I thought I'd try to help out around here. Ah. Not that I'm much good at it. I just learned the terrifying way what happens when you burn a hillian pine cone. Oh. Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there's been an explosive increase in hillian pine cones. They're oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tossed one onto the fire for kindling, and the force with which it burned whipped up a whirlwind, which in turn sent all of the freshly printed newspapers flying far, far away. If you find a hilly and pine cone of your own, whatever you do, don't throw it in a fire. That actually sounds pretty awesome. I might have to do that. Tracy, our editor here. Hey, Tracy's here. She looks very different than she did in Gerudo Town in Breath of the Wild. Our editor here is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You're here about the newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Ah. Oh, wait a minute. It's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy treated the previous owner out of it. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. 
I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Mama C. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Thank you for the shout out, Greeny. I appreciate it. Yes, everybody, if you're not following Mama C, you got to go check her out and see what she's up to. She does a lot of nighttime streaming of uh, games and a lot of artwork. A lot of creative stuff goes on in her channel. She's really awesome. Go check her out. You won't regret it. Just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Hey, quiet. Don't you listen, Pen. I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing. I bought this place from the owner We came after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop people telling people I cheated him out of it? I, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New applicant? Hmm, hang on. You look like... Ah. Uh -huh. Look. Hey, sorry, Ben, but could you give me and this guy a second here? Uh -huh. All right. How about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Pura asked, for her, asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Uh. Interesting. So that's why she's asked you in, to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Oh. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows and you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. <sighs> a lot of us call him Launchpad. Nice. There's a smog warning relating to the forest fires? Oh, jeez. Oh, fun. I'm so sorry, Anstara. Here we go. Ooh. They have special armor for the newspaper? The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping. You work with Penn to chase down all those news stories? Then I'll give you this armor. Piece by piece, all yours. Wow. A pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Hey! Pen, you can come back in. You like the smell of wood smoke, but I probably shouldn't uh. indulge in it too much. No, probably not. I'm with you, though. I do like the smell of wood smoke. Maybe not so much when the wood smoke is, you know, the supporting timbers of people's houses, but... Starting now, this guy's your partner. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then it looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Oh. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this all up. Stables bring in people, and people bring in details, and details are what we need. Now, get me some news. This sounds like it's going to be a job for a car, so I'm going to need some Zonite. Or I'm going to need to start at that one stable. But I also still need to get into Garut or the uh, you know Dorito Village. What's up, Pen? Oh. Okay, listen up, partner. We're on the trail of the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let even the smallest clue slip through our talons or hands, in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of goings on to talk about. Soar along. House fires do not smell like wood smoke. Uh, that's true. There's probably a lot of forest stuff going on, too. Thankfully, I wouldn't really know the details because I've never been through a house fire. Also, how are you doing, Aranlor? I hope you're feeling better today. That's a very nice axe. Do 
I have a melee weapon I can ditch? I could probably lose that one. It just smells like cut wood around me. They're cutting down the forest for construction. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Greeny. Just waking up, so yeah, not bad so far. Need to discover how your brain is today. Gray and wrinkly is hopefully accurate. Or, you know, pinkish gray and wrinkly would be even better. Is there anything else going on here? The archives are currently closed. Check back later. 1L. this the bridge is busted oh this is 1l let me guess you have business in dorito village as well well sorry to disappoint you but the bridge is down there's no way across since the newspaper ran an article about the dorito food shortage supply shipments have started to arrive which is great mm. but with no bridge there's no way to transport the goods to the dorito i'm at my wits end here Oh, it's cold especially now that the sun's gone down i might have to throw another hillian pine cone on the fire those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that guy Galley tossed one onto the fire next to some newspapers. The papers then caught, caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Dorito Village. That's no way to treat the written word. Okay, so they're hinting rather strongly that I can fly across without having to repair the bridge. But... We could always build a new bridge. I laugh every time I hear Gord say Dorito. That's the idea. I kind of picked up the habit somewhere in another stream, and now I can't stop. Okay. Oh, this is a very good axe. Oh, geez, it's almost time for another break already. All right, guys, I'm going to start the break right now. We've only got a few seconds. I need to get up and make some tea, so this will be my longer break of the afternoon. If you need to get up yourself, grab some food, drink, snacks, whatever you got to do, this is a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in about five to seven, let's call it. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. <laughs> oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. <laughs> Oh no, what's going on?
Uh oh. Uh oh, that is. Uh. Majesty, with your power, we cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. We are the kings. And you, all of you, are pawns. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core and the other won't make it easy for me. Do your jobs and we won't have a problem. Fail me and the other will be the least of your worries. As you command, Emperor. Okay. Here we go. Rugged BD assembly scrapyard solar, yes. Oh, it gave me the complete upgrade package? You're kidding me. Love it. That's so cool. Ah, jeez. Oh, God. That was not the best plan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Um. There you go. At least I got meat. <laughs> oh my god, they just... Oh, <laughs> and it's on fire. Oh, it's a... Uh, wow. The ice cube factory's on fire. You know your city has problems when. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. <laughs> well, that was, that was pretty close to a good plan. Get to the top and secure Gaia. I'll stop, Gerard. More like someone. <laughs> You're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. You have to forgive Aaron. He's discovered the far future version of Spotify. There are many sand pits around Sandrock which contain a variety of fish. 
What? Oh, okay. So, Irenius finally arrived. We can found our religion. As is tradition and in accordance with prophecy, we will create our custom religion, Amism. I'm okay if they just want to stay there. That lets me regain a bit of magicka. I hate you guys. I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife. Probably should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. Ah, there you are. So quick to Yeah. Well, rip her. Back. Get back here. Where are you? Warning, shields are offline. Warning, ship in critical condition. Have you seen the new branded content guidelines? Yes, they look... They're, they're a thing. Thank you, Aranlar. Were you there yesterday in Ultras when she was seconds away from attacking a group of monsters while bombs and I managed to stop her in time as the blood moon was rising in the background? I don't think I was, Aranlar. I may have been AFK for that. Oh, that's a branch. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, Aaron Lar. going to end up clearing a lot of forest here. I have to apologize in advance, Greeny. I'm very curious as to what panels for, like, Humble Bundle or automated, automated chat postings of it would fall under. Uh, I don't think it applies to chat at all. They were entirely focused on what you're allowed to do on the video stream itself.
Oh, crap. Cold again. Um, I had more cold stuff down here. And I have a lot of ingredients. Okay, that's not nearly long enough to cover that bridge span, is it? You have this terrible feeling that I'm just... Hmm. How many trees would I need for this? It's probably going to be too many. Oh, they've got a whole bunch already cut there. Oh, that's handy. They probably intend that to be firewood, but we can put it to another use, right? I'm sure they won't mind. You or your mods share affiliate links in response to questions from your community is under doesn't count, and there's including links to other sites that promote things as a format permitted. There you go. That's your answer. Chat is fine. Well, these ones are straight logs. That's interesting. I kind of suspect this is still not going to be long enough. I'd probably have to double this, actually, now that I look at it more closely. <laughs> yep. That's not even close. Okay. Well, then they can rest assured I have just given them a ton of extra firewood. As long as they don't mind the glue. Okay. I haven't actually tried the Hillian Pinecone yet. We can give that a shot and see what happens. Chickaloo tree nut. Yeah. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. Might want to back up there. Dorito Village. Yeah, the areas where I would be impacted so far, Aaron Lorm, it kind of sounds like my coffee link would be under the purview of those guidelines. Oop. But it also says there's a size limitation and my link should be well within that. So I think I'm fine. Oh, 
Always like arrows. Good. Interesting. And unsettling. It is very weird, Aaron Lord. That's one of the reasons why I'm a little bit kind of a little bit unnerved about it because it's very it, it's not detailed and it sounds like I'm generally fine because I don't do a huge amount of advertising anyway but there's going to be problems oh. how are things going mister? Oh. we're about to practice our song oh. it's called the song of the storm wind dark we're all going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. Huh? Are you going to listen to our song, mister? Yeah. Yay, we love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one, and a two, and... Once a god fell from the heavens, stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. Oh. You know, this song is about the ark that saved Dorito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that storm wind dark. Is it really real? I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. Ah. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over today. Genli, you're in charge of food. And Molly, we need you to make arrows. Yeah. We've all got jobs to do, so let's do them. Hey. Hi. So wait, the adults abandoned the kids in a frozen village? What? Amazon and Humble Bundle links immediately came to mind for me. They could have easily listed out things like that. It just feels weird to me they haven't. A lot about it feels a little weird to me. Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. A customer? Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping. Not me. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. A regular bed is 20 rupees, and a silky soft Rito down bed is 50 rupees. Aw, oh, okay. Come again when you want to use one of our comfy beds. Huh. I need fish, though. Full tummies make for a happy Dorito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in here that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made with Staminoka bass. Doesn't that sound yummy? No. Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a Staminoka bass thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else, Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm going to make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need Staminoka bass. Genley's home cooking. Hooray, a customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon General Store. Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. So, um, what can I do for you, mister? This is a shop where you can buy cooking ingredients plus all sorts of other stuff. Although, we haven't got much business since the blizzard took out the bridge. Hey, mister, have you seen the building with the big horse on top of it across the bridge? The people there make these kinds of thin books called newspapers. They used to be our best customers, but I haven't heard from them in a while. 
Um, will that be all? Aww. Sorry, our shelves are kind of empty. It's because of all the heavy snowstorms. If you need food, like fish or mushrooms, you could try poking around in the caves outside of town. Oh. There's a bunch of caves along the road to the east, and even more of them in the Hebra Mountains. Okay, let's see. No armor, huh? Well, I can't help but notice the... Subtle shrine over here. Gataka Shrine. Ride the winds. Oh, fun. More Resident Evil goodness. trying to get to. Goodbye. Oh, you're still there. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. I actually took some damage there. Um, that'll do. Strong construct bow. So I'm guessing we want to get into that slightly sheltered area over there. That was a fun one. I like that. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. There we go. And I can get a new heart. 
May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. <clears throat> This one is pretty at least. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Thought so. All right. Oh, right. Kind of reason. Cold weather attack. Damn it. I want in the clothing store. Uh, okay. I'll just climb this wall a little bit. Or maybe all the way. Freeze them solid. Oh. Hmm, how about this one? Oh. Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. Oh. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, wow. which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Wah! -ha. My problem is I can't go out to pick fruit right now with the bl blizzard and all. Oh. It's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Molly the Fletcher's Quest. Hmm? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Huh? Mister, what's that you've got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Whoa, it looks like you've also got some cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have one of either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? Yay, now I can finally make my invention. Oh. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. <laughs> Sometimes I'm so smart I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Oh. Wow, listen to me. With every breath I spew out brilliance. Oh. But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's the thank you present. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, making my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world-famous arrow maker, one my papa can be proud of. Okay. We're a level too high, it looks like. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. Oh. What brings you to the shop today? Hi. People are finding more caves all the time on the east road, road east of here and on the way to the Hebrew Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. 
Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. We'll pay a lot for those ores, and so will the folks at the general store, so keep an eagle eye out for them. Snow quill tr Oh god, they're expensive. If I want the full set, I'd better sell a bit. I have a fair number of peppers, yes, I do. I can make food that will do if I need to. I think I already sold most of my gems. It's two pieces I can afford. Oh. Expensive, but pretty worth it? Yes. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Snow quill trousers. Snow quill tunic. Oh, I can barely do it. Okay, perfect. go. Now I don't need to worry about food. And this means I can probably make it up to the tower that I've been trying to get to this whole time as well. To say nothing of likely that tower there, which I assume that's got to be the one for this area, right? We should probably go grab that one. Yeah, that's this region. Okay. I'm going to go do that after we talk to a few more people around here. Now we were over there already. We talked to you. wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. <sighs> if we don't do anything, the village... Tulin, young Rito warrior. Mm. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Tiba, new Rito elder. <sighs> it's very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. Mm. What, you think I can't? I'm already full, fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. 
You can all keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind Dark like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go and find out what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. It's an old folk song here in Dorito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through the generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Dorito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval and it seems less far-fetched. Even if the Song of the Stormwind Dark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin... He thinks we can cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Dorito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? <sighs> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow... Hmm. <sighs> we Dorito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no signs of stopping and food has grown scarce. Everyone I can spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Huh. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information, so he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way? He's in the lodge near there, if you'd like to try visiting him. Tulin of Rito Village. Alright. Oh. Tulin, the young Rito warrior, the son of Rito Elder Teba. When Link first visited his village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow, and his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Teba practice at the flight range. Okay, so that looks like that's about it for the village for now. Okay, how do we get out to the... the things? I'm going to go the direct route. Oh, good. There's a wizard. That was easier than I expected. Sapphire Sword. An average sword used largely by travelers. The blade is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. Oh. It just counts as a traveler's sword. Okay. I don't think a Sapphire Sword is going to be all that helpful in this region. Although, maybe when we go back to the desert of the Gerudo folk. 
Oh my god, what are you doing here, Addison? Okay. That's a very low sign, sir. Hang on, I gotcha. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I've eaten a special rice ball I made so this cold weather won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Mm. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Do you have brain damage? Link has helped you how many times and you still think he's going to hold it? Yep. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Biting meaty rice balls. Cold weather attack. Ah! But I still don't think I've helped you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Ah! Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. The thing that gets me is not so much that, Aaron Lore, as the fact that these supports that he puts up are still so terrible after doing it so many times, and how he's so much better at making food to accomplish so many things. Why is he so insistent on being a builder when he could be a chef and be much more fulfilled and better regarded in his position? Hebra Mountain Climbing Path. Because chefs aren't respected. Wow. Hey there. Are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy sky view tower. Mm -hmm. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Ooh. The Hillians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Oh, what is this? Aww. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebrew Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? <sighs> I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything, not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. Yes, please. Ah. 
I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but we'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We do not have many of them here, but you are welcome to what's available. I'm glad she said that because I just stole all of them. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Read the book about the Stormwind Ark. What do you want to read? Stormwind Ark Legends. One day, the winds that ought to blow in Dorito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the god stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who could say how far it might be this place this god came from? The Dorito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Dorito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully and then, with reluctance, returned to earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again. The skies cleared and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Ark. So ends the story of the Stormwind Ark that saved the village long ago. Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you I haven't heard anything about her. <sighs> Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village is left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Mm. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You weren't around for it, but little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gassain and Lesa on a trip to find food. I wonder when Hyrule will have cat girls instead of bird boys. <laughs> Who knows, maybe on another continent. I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave, that's the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Ah. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Okay, so even without my fancy clothing, or my fancy food rather, this clothing is doing a pretty good job of making sure I don't freeze to death, so I'm happy about that. Okay, let's see what we can find.
Well, I see a shrine. I see a fire. I see... I see bat things. And burnable thorn. A lot of burnable thorn. Unbelievable. Mm. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What is happening up there in the skies? Hmm? Oh, oops. I hadn't expected to meet a Hillian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Don't you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Ah. If you go farther up this slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. <sighs> they keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much to you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. very considerate of them. Ah, crap. Oh god, that's going so fast. I'm never gonna catch it. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. There we go. Ice Keys eyeballs are imbued with freezing power and are useful in making elixirs. Attach one to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. It's a shame it doesn't grant both freezing and homing. That would have been nice. God, is it that time already? I'm not going to bother fighting the rest of them yet. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. By the way, Greeny and Aaron Lore and anyone else who might be uh, hanging out and listening, I had something disturbing happen last night. I went back to this stable here. This is the one where I made my truck yesterday before we took off all down here and got to the uh, Gerudo area. I drove that truck all the way. I think I traced, where's my route? I went about this way and then up here. And now, I, which way I would have gone up here. Yeah, because I found Addison and marked him. I didn't do the thing, I saved it for stream. And then I came up here, and basically I ended up going through here. But at some point, I think it was after I had gotten back into this area, and I was right around, uh, where would I be? Probably right up around here. You know that thing where your flying components, your, your wings and your hot air balloons and all that flash green and disappear? Four of the wheels on my truck flashed green and disappeared on me. So I don't think there is a single building component that won't eventually disappear on you.
It's the first time I've seen it with any kind of a... Uh... Damn it! With any kind of a ground thing. No! Give me the... No! Give me. Stop! Oh, Jesus. You're so rude. Oh, you have to stop that. I'm going to fight Keese with Keese eyeballs, I think. They are just too obnoxious. There we go. Oh, that's a thing. I'll be back to deal with them in a moment. Oh, geez. Two minute warning, guys. Two minutes and we have ourselves another break. Now, where's the tower? Oh, that's... Let's do the tower first, then I'll go after this shrine. Who is that? just gonna climb up but let's go talk to this guy and then I'll take a break and then we'll do the tower and that's it for the entrance a cave-in you've got to be kidding me how am I supposed to get inside now what's wrong well take a gander for yourself I was hauling food out of there when the entrance collapsed now what do I do I should have picked some bomb flowers from some other caves. Could have used them to blow those rocks away. What foul luck. I love how many bird terms they use in their dialogue. I hate to leave all that food behind, but maybe I just need to call today. I'll wash and come back tomorrow. The blocked cave. Okay, guys. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Deal a total of 6,500 or more damage? What did I just walk into? Let's 
So that was the Delamain quest. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I should have gone back and looted. T-Rexes want to eat. They will therefore wander in. Or they might just chase the jeep. <laughs> oh my god. Haboob Dust Storm. From far off, people see the approaching wall of driven sand and scatter to seek safety before the scouring wind. Because this area just doesn't get enough weather hardship as it is. I have to leave him here. He's gonna get shot to death if I don't. That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. Uh. On second thought, I think a shower can wait. touched it. Feeling so tough now, are you, sir? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, there you go. There you go. Oh, nice. That was awesome! Okay, I should have given him a vibroblade a long time ago. If you'll pardon the phrasing, he's a frickin' beast with a vibro sword. Holy crap! It's been a bit of a day. Lots of things going right, lots of things going wrong. My airport is still on fire. What the hell? Okay. Oh! Whoops. <laughs> um. Very sorry about that. Ha <laughs> 
Nice. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. I finally did the thing. Thank you. Uh, all right, so we need to get through that cave. Or at least we need to open the cave. I guess we don't have to get through it. Hmm. Pro Pass Cave. Nope. I'll take that. I guess I should let him know that I cleared the way, huh? Whoa, look at the cave! Hey, those rocks didn't know what hit them. You're amazing. Now I can bring some supplies back to the village. Thank you so much. All right, I need to reward you somehow, don't I? Here, take this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Ah. All right, I'm going to go check if that food is still good. Thank you for opening a path for me. Thank you, Aranor. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was not what I had in mind. I wanted this. Can I... I just want to set it on fire. Fine. There you go. Ah. Thanks for helping to keep our food supplies intact. I'll deliver them to the village as soon as I pack them up. Where's Tulin? Ah. Tulin, do you need him for something? He's out collecting food in another cave right now. I'm pretty sure he was with Gassane's group. There's a bonfire burning outside the entrance to the cave he was headed to, so that should help you find him. It'll be a good place to warm up and rest if you feel yourself starting to freeze, too. I don't seem to have any need to worry about that anymore. Oh, it's a bigger cave than I thought it was. There you are. Oh, crap. It's farther than I thought it was. There we are. Strange crystal left by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. <laughs> Chillfin trout.
Is that it for this one? That kind of looks like it might be it. Ice Breath Lizalfo's horn. Nice. Ice Breath Lizalfo's tail. Well, that was a very nice shortcut. Now I can just sort of zip right over to the tower here. Bypass most of those thorns. Rospro Pass Skyview Tower. spared. There we go. Teleport spot. Oh, aerial shrine up there. Interesting. Looks really cool in the snowy weather. I love it. Surface map updated. Sky map updated. Okay, where are we headed? I don't know if we can get to that one. Maybe we might be able to. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. if I do.
time bomb. Interesting. Flame emitter. Rocket, rocket, and more rockets. And there's still one thing that we don't have from it, so let's see if we can do a little more. Nice. Rocket. Ah, portable pots. Okay. Okay. So, I got a few time bombs. I got some portable pots again. Flame emitters and some rockets. Not bad. Not bad. And the shrine should make a very convenient... Oh. Oh, that's fun. Should make a very convenient teleport spot to get back here. And for ice fruit, too. Nice. Just gonna explore this island before we go into the shrine, I think. We'll make that the cap on the visit. Thank you. Thank you, too. Take that. I think we're getting up there right now. Time to poof. Need to make sure chat behaves over at DDB. Good luck with that, Aaron Lar. Hope it goes well. Thank you so much for hanging out here. what this does. I kind of assume it's connected to... Oh. 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 Oh, that's fun. So we could potentially get up there then. I'm not actually looking to do that, but good to know that there is a way. Ijovo Shrine. More than defense. Interesting. First thing that comes to my mind is shields. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, I see what they're doing here. Okay. They're formally teaching you how to do the thing with this. Uh, no, can we... Can I not fuse? Oh, it's already on a shield. Okay. That's why. Okay. Oh, hello there. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Stones. That, oh my god, that's so cool. That, I had, that had not occurred to me, honestly. This is wild. I love this. That's awesome. Ow. <laughs> Crap. Yep. Uh, rockets do apparently hurt. If only I had some sort of really heavy defense mechanism that I could use to hide behind on a moment's notice. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Oh, I think I see. Alright. This is all about shields, so we're gonna need to do a shield thing, aren't we? That is, holy crap, that's fun. I love that. Now, um... Hey, Jarek, how's it going?
It's Sweden Day? What does that mean? Is that like uh, your Canada Day or your Independence Day or like your national anniversary celebration kind of deal? That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. National Day? Excellent. Then happy Sweden Day. Five hundred years ago, damn, nice. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, so I guess that's the same shield technique that you were talking about having used earlier, Greeny. That's really cool. All right, where are we? There was another shrine that I wanted to visit. Let's see if we can spot it while we're up here. I'm not sure exactly where that was. Maybe I can find it on the map more easily. Oh, except that I hadn't visited it yet. Uh, that looks like the cave that we're in, so it's got to be in that general direction. Probably easier to spot if I'm floating downwards. Without all this crap in my way. I'll grab a few things on the way down. Oh, okay, there, there's the tower, I see it. It's kind of all hidden behind other things. So, the shrine's gotta be nearby too. Soldier Construct 2 Horn, very nice. <laughs> Had an expensive but amazing pizza today, ooh. Garlic marinated pork filet on a skewer, onion, paprika, peanuts, garlic dressing, and Bernays sauce. That sounds really good. You almost fell asleep after that one. I don't blame you. gotta be around here somewhere. There it is. It's a hero shrine.
Walk in the sun, pizza, later some ice cream. That sounds really awesome. Aid from above. Anyway, we can just... No? Uh, okay. It's Resident Eviling us again. So we want to go that way. Now it said aid from above. Which so far doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Ah. for yet. Interesting. Spicy elixir. That's a pretty good one. really is resident eviling us, isn't it? Oh god. It this literally is the first Resident Evil movie. Sounds like an elixir for Greeny, yes. You know, somehow, I don't know, this feels familiar. I wonder if I maybe saw somebody do this one. I don't remember watching it. You've done this one? Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean I was watching it the moment you were doing it. I kind of feel like... I might have seen you do some of it. I think I might have seen Ash Monster do some of this one too. I'm not certain. You made a clip. Awesome, Jarek. What did you grab? 
Okay, so we're looking for a cave with a bonfire in front of it. I don't think it's that, although it could be the lower one there. It could also be further on. was weird. I could have sworn there was another... F oh, that's not a bonfire. Okay. So they've got a campfire. There's a torch down there. Is that a cave? No, that's not a cave. Oh, that's unbelievable lady again. Where the heck? Tulin of Rito Village. I guess we follow the indicator. Discord works. Thank you very much, Derek. I'm kind of behind on clips. I have very few done from the month of April so far. But I started catching up some last night. And I'm going to work a little more on them over the next couple of days. Oh, this is back at the lodge. I don't need this. go back here. No, not there. There. I've forgotten to drink for the last few hours. No worries. And thank you for the hydrate. We'll search for it from the sky while it's still dark out. Or darker. Darkish. See, I don't see very many bonfires down there at all, is the thing. Looks potentially good. That's a cave. It's got a fire. Hebra South Summit Cave. That's all about the angle. I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon, what with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in this cave, yes. With Gassane, they're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Huh? 
Whoop. Whoops. It's weird that there's such an updraft here. Unless I need to get over there. Man, that's dangerous. Holy crap. Sapphire, nice. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, whoops. Not what I wanted to hammer. Good. Man, there's this is quite the cave. This is huge. Jeez. Well, <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a hint that I could start that fire and use a Hillian pine cone and get an updraft going. Luckily, I have quite a few Hillian pine cones already. So let's see. Yeah. There's another passageway over that way, too. Okay. Nope. Ow. Rude. There you go. That's better. Well, we found somebody. What are we going to do with that boy? 
It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is a Hillian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly by outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Lone Peak, huh? Oh, crap. What was... Oh, we have monsters over here. Addison! What are you doing up here? God, I think we have to use rocks and snowballs to support this one, don't we? Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. And maybe some stuff. We're gonna have to go kill these guys up here. Well, maybe I can do it with this, actually. Careful, Edison. Careful. I don't think that's going to quite do it. Although, actually, that's pretty close. No, it's not going to be enough. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally squished him a little bit. Oh, I wonder. That might be enough. Ah! Try letting go. He's standing! I did it! How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. <sighs> but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection, a special gift from me to you. Ah. Now I can go to other places and put up more signs. 
And with that, I'm off. Wow. Okay. All right. actually tried fighting one of these guys yet. So we're looking for a lone tree. What did it say specifically? Tulin was not at the cave when you went out to find him. Gassain told you that he left Hebra South Summit Cave and went toward the lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak, visible to the north. Talanto Peak. Okay, so we need the map. Ah, uh, so that's probably up here then. They're heading away, looks like, so I can probably ascend up onto that crappy platform thing. I'm just gonna grab a little more of this ice fruit. Oh, crap. Something's in here. Oh, it's... Oh, I don't have to swing it. <laughs> nice. There you are. Stupid monster. Huh. Huh. Link, where did you come from? What happened? Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. Huh. See, that's the bow napper. Uh. I've got to get it out. Help me out, Link, or gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you, too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust, and I'll make it for you. Oh, this is the guy that does that. That's so cool. Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Uh, okay. Let's go. Uh, oh. Uh. It was not quite what I was hoping for. But I can ascend, so that's okay. <laughs> it's true, Jarek. It's true. Three minute warning on ads, by the way, guys. Okay. Where is our bow napper? He's up there, it looks like. Oh. 
There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. There's more of them. All right, they're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. Oh, rude. We did it. Hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Oh, this is actually pretty awful timing for something big to start. Was that the wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Let's find out after I get back from my break, because that's about to start. So guys, I'm going to get up and move around a little bit, and if you need to get up yourselves and grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it. I'll be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so. Moira's mo Ah! What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the, uh, compies, I see. At this point, I should probably be level 1 or 2. I'm level... what level am I, actually? 54. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. Shot. Ah, Ooh. I'm hit. My mech is coming apart around me. I stand corrected. Damn. The shot blasts a new orifice in the side of the junk freighter. <laughs> Unfortunately, your inadequately protected ship is struck and subsequently destroyed in the bottleneck of metallic objects driving to pass through the same relatively small opening. Ah! Gotcha. Sucker. I'm a little suspicious now. Uh... I quick saved, right? So... Yeah. This is definitely gonna get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Hey, I just painted this thing. Of course, Red Leader. For you see, it doesn't matter about the color of our squadron. What's important is we're all the same on the... 
Oops. <laughs> Oh my god, the timing! Season. Um. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter- And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. <laughs> no, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. All right. What do you mean you can't reach my freaking location? Right. Coming. Oh. Okay. Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. <laughs> oh! Uh. Um. <laughs> I, um... Okay, I am back. Okay, there's no way. It must have been something else. Hi. Hey, Tulin, Link. Huh. Hmm? Oh. Oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. <laughs> oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Gassane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Mm. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. That was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Huh? What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm, seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Uh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Dorito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Dorito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Uh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tiba. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. 
Now it's time for you to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever is causing this blizzard. No problem. The two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Heber Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. <laughs> it's intentional, Jarek. Kind of a habit, actually. Okay, let's see what we got here. So the Sky Islands, huh? Well, we can get part of the way at least. Good to know you're not going crazy. Well, I mean, I can't testify to that, but you're not showing that particular symptom because of this particular phrasing at least. All right, let's see here. map. A very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? Interesting. The location shown on the old map has been marked on your map. That's an area we've been to before, at least roughly. Oh, that's a pretty well-traveled spot, too. That's not bad. All right. Okay. We can check that out sometime. Oh. I guess it helps if I leave the map on the correct spot, huh? I don't see a whole lot in the way of Sky Islands over in that direction. This could be tricky to get to. How the heck do we get all the way up there? Tulin's recent ordeal has taught him a valuable lesson about working together. Even Hearth can see that the young Rito has matured. Go with Tulin to the Sky Islands above Heber Peak where he claims he saw Princess Zelda. Where was Heber Peak? Heber Peak is over this way. So maybe it looks like there is a monster fortress tower thing that way that we could potentially maybe use to get there. Oh, that's quite the assortment of islands up that way.
We'll see what we can do. Maybe we can do it. Oh, that looks like a thing. We can go there first as a sort of a waypoint on our way. I think we're just gonna make it. I'm getting a bit low on stamina now, but we're almost to solid ground again. That is a wild ability. I love that. Look at that. We just traveled so far. That's so cool. Pun semi intended. Will the blizzard ever stop? You startled me. How'd you make it all the way here in the blizzard? Are you a shield surfer too? Must be. You might not think it by the look of me these days, but I used to be a pro shield surfer. Kind of well known too. I'd earned myself the impressive nickname Duchess of Downhill. Oh, hey, I'm starting to think you came here to study shield surfing from me. Am I right? Make me your student. Ha, huh, I knew you'd be interested. But sorry, I have two students. If I take a third, I'd worry they wouldn't get as much training as they deserve, so I can't take you on right now. Ah. But I'd be glad to watch you surf the mountain sometime. So come back once this blizzard stops. Then we'll have good conditions for shield surfing. I'd like to see what you can do. Oh. Anything else you want to ask? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. So that's handy. I think this thing has got to be letting us know that there's a cave around or something like that, right? That certainly seems true. Okay. Kill a shield surf student, eh, Mio? How's it going? I don't think that's what we're trying to do here. Maybe that's just me, but that that's not a goal that I've set for myself at this time. Hey, Sketchy, it's going good. How are you doing? Oh, so far so good. It's been a good day. I mean, honestly, pretty much the entire day has been the stream so far. But that's okay. I got a lot of good stuff done yesterday. Pleased with how things are going. We've made some excellent progress in Zelda today. I finally got the cold outfit. So I can do all this cold weather stuff without dying. That's the one thing that's been holding me back. And I kind of figured, okay, well, it's been pushing me to go to Dorito Village, so I might as well go there. It's probably where I need to go to find the stuff I need to deal with all these conditions. And it turns out, I was right.
No, no. I didn't mean that. Gotta be careful about that. I was trying to pick stuff up. I'm glad to hear it, Sketchy. were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? Aww. Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you've come here, that means... Oh. Yep, they said I could go up there. Oh. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique for, since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching you for your return. Uh -huh. There are, Mio. It's so good. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. I'm having such a good time with this one. It's so fun. Okay, let's see. I think we're gonna need some additional elevation here. So we're gonna stack these up. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> Rising Island Chain. Hebra Mountain Sky. Oh, there's a shrine there. That's handy. So we will never have to do this obstacle course of ascension again. In theory, at least. Hey. Link! It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda. But now, I don't know where she could have gone. Hmm? What is that? What is that thing? Look at that. It's a boat. Huh? Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Whoa, 
do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of those little flying boats, too. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing is just like the song of the storm when dark. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Huh. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Though you didn't find Princess Zelda where Tulin said she'd be, you heard a disembodied voice say, Come to me. Inside the cloud, you discovered a great ship, which looks just like the one from the Song of the Storm in Dark. Is mis this mysterious voice guiding Tulin into the cloud? Whoa! Okay, that was not what I was expecting to happen. <laughs> I thought we were going to take control of the boat, not just get flung into the air. Maya, Maya Yumenkis, Yumekis Shrine. Downward Force, Mayu Yumeka Shrine. If we need Downward Force, I should probably use one of these. Downward Force, huh? Okay. <laughs> Not quite what I was expecting to open that, but sure. That works, I guess. Oh, and they've got another one of these bouncy ships. Okay, let's see here. into the chasm. I'm not getting that stuff. Fair enough. I don't have Tulin's power here either, it looks like. We 
Where do we go from here? That's got to be this. But, I have not found a chest yet. There's got to be more to this. see Whoop, whoops <laughs> we have to follow this around in its path until it's close and then we can get a lift to where we need to be to get the chest it should be right about here. Yep. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Arrows are always nice. I love that this gives you so many of them. It was always so hard to keep stocked up on them in Breath of the Wild. We offer this light which will cleanse you of evil. One more and I can get two hearts. Okay, let me see. Oh, we still have a ways to go, don't we?
Nice. Okay. This is a really fun area, Greeny. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. Good shot, sir. Damn, leave some for me, man. Okay, so we got stackable boxes if we need them. Not certain that we do. Oh, interesting. Okay, maybe we actually do. I'm guessing that's why these are here. It's too far to ascend. Spoiled it, you jerk. Oh. Well, I was hoping to loot him, but okay. Fair enough. Portable pot times three. Tricky. Is there some place we can go to ascend upwards, maybe? Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on. No. Still going? Oh, wait. Whoa, hang on. Oh, there's another one of those stompy guys. Okay. That seems fun.
Uh, yes and no, Sketchy. Yes and no. You will notice when I ascend, there's a point at which I'm sort of stuck half inside the thing, so looking around and given the option to finish getting out. Once I get out, once I hop up and I'm fully like standing on the surface, I can no longer go down. But until I do that, I can go down. So I have to back out at a specific time. Okay. I think he was in here, wasn't he? Maybe not. Where was he? Soldier Spear 2, a Zonai spear made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to slightly increase its attack power. Nice. Where was Stompy Boy? Is he still further ahead? He might be further ahead. There you are. Okay. Then let's ascend back up here. Okay. Let's tackle the big guy. It's only a flux construct one. Okay, I thought it was going to be a bit of an upgrade. Nope. Gimme. You don't need that. see rockets and lots of charges. Zonite sword and I guess would that count as a Zonite device? Oh. Okay. I guess we're putting not on the sword then.
Now, how do we get away from here? Ah. Probably gonna have to stack stuff for some. Oh, maybe not. Oh, oh. I think I missed. That's very inconvenient. Uh, is there anything we can do about that? That's, oh, oh yes, there is. Okay. Oh, crap. What the hell was that? <laughs> See, right there, when it said exit, I had the opportunity to drop back down if I wanted to, but I didn't want to. Now, where'd they... Ah, there they are. Good job, sir. Now, I'm guessing we have to go that way. Now I'm having to kind of guess as to where I need to be going here.
Nope, no such luck. Okay. See, right here. I'm kind of halfway between. If I want to, I could go back, but I don't. Oh, that looks evil. Don't need them flapping around confusing matters. Nice! Come on. Gerudo bow. I like the zoom factor. The Gerudo bow is very nice. I'm going to be sad to see that one go. All right. Oh god! You are lucky, sir. You are so very lucky. So close. It was too close. Now where do we have to start back up again? Oh, this isn't so bad. This is fine. Failed my stealth check.
Oh god. Oh jeez. Chain reaction. <laughs> well. I guess I have to use a flower now. Nope. 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 I want the arrow back. Okay, there's an awful lot of time bomb and balloon stuff here. quite even, does it? That's better. happened to the balloon contraption? Oh, that just fell right back down there. Nice. Okay. Three I'm running out of time. And I'm suspecting that this is the path to the first temple. Which I don't particularly want to do today, because we have no time to actually work on it. So we're going to have to start that on Friday.
There we go. Nice. Okay, so I've got about 16 minutes now after snoozing a few times. 16 minutes until that break is going to start. This is my first time flying this high. The air's pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Oh, it is very cold, but I am good. Kahatanum Shrine. I have no idea if we've got time to finish this shrine or not, so let's check it out and see. But first, I'm going to save, just in case. Nice. Thank you, Greeny. I will be ending very, very shortly. Have a fantastic night, and I will catch you again soon. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. And that, with that, we officially have enough to get two more hearts. So I think that's actually, maybe this is a good point to wrap up. We're right outside the shrine as soon as we're done here. I've got the eight orbs. We can teleport back to a place where we can grab the uh, two hearts and then we'll have extra health for when we tackle what I assume is going to be the wind temple. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to save here. We're going to go raid somebody. And we will pick this up on Friday when I return. That was so much fun. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give it just a couple more minutes because I do have a little more time on the clock. We're going to teleport now. We're going to go get the hearts now. And then we can just teleport back again. I'll keep looking into whatever's going on with Princess Zelda and the Blizzard while you're away. But soar back when you can. Don't you worry, sir. I will be back before you know it.
only had to ban one troll. That's pretty impressive, Aranar. Give me that heart. It appears you still possess lights of blessing. Alright guys, we are going to save here with the extra hearts and we've got the teleport spot right at that shrine. So we'll be in a good position next time. So we're going to go on a raid. Let's go see who's live. We've got a fair... Oh, perfect. Okay, I know exactly where we're going. Greeny just started. That's why he had to dip out. Let's go say hi to him. All right, guys, you know Greeny. Let's see if the bot will cooperate with the username. No, we're not rating me. <sighs> Here you go. I'll just type out the link. So we're going to go raid Greeny Trini. He's a longtime friend of the channel. He's one of the mods here. You know him very well. He hangs out here all the time. So we're going to go hang out with him. And I will be back on my usual Friday. So I, if you guys want to be back here for that, that would be great. And, of course, I've got the Discord and the socials, including a brand new Blue Sky account. So if uh, you want to follow me on those places, you are more than welcome. Oh, did I make a typo? Oh, I did. I left out one of the E's. Okay, that's fine. Let me try that again then. There we go. That's right. Okay, so let me get you guys the raid call. Thank you all so much for making this a really fun stream. It's been a really good one. We made a lot of progress today. Here at the Library of Lore, we use... Shh, you've been bookmarked with the library raid and the... Or the... Uh, the Heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub. Please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe emotes from another Twitch streamer, emotes from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see what he's been up or see what he's up to. He's only just getting started. He will be playing some Zelda himself, so uh, if you're not sick of this game completely yet, you'll get to see some more of that. And he goes for a real long time, probably close to 10 or 12 hours. So it'll be fun to hang out with him for a bit. So I will catch you guys again on Friday for my next stream, and I will uh, see you again soon. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.